Welcome to BitRush Crypto. My name is Kyler. Today's video is going to be the first of a several part series on how to use OpenSea for everything NFTs. Today's video is going to assume you have some basic knowledge in how to use and already have set up a MetaMask wallet. If you don't have a MetaMask or another Web3 Ethereum based wallet set up, I do have a video on the basics of setting up and using a MetaMask wallet that should be linked in the description below. For everyone else, let's go ahead and get started on setting up a OpenSea account. But before we do that, for the new people, go ahead and sub to the channel. And for everyone, go ahead and smash that thumbs up and here we go. OpenSea.io has become the dominant player in the NFT marketplace, which is why I've chosen to go ahead and do a tutorial on everything OpenSea. So if you guys aren't familiar with OpenSea, it is the big player in the game. First navigate over to OpenSea.io where we can begin to create an account. You are going to need to be logged into MetaMask, so just ensure that you're logged in on your MetaMask. You should then be prompted to connect to the site, and you can choose the account you'd like to connect with. Once you have your wallet set up, we can then click on the icon that says My Profile. If you have nothing in your wallet, it's going to show you something like this with a blank wallet, a blank icon, and a blank header image. If you already have some NFTs in your wallet, they should appear below. The first thing we want to do is set up our icon. We can click edit here and choose an icon we'd like to use. Once you've chosen the image you'd like to use for your profile picture, it's going to ask you to sign a transaction on your MetaMask wallet, as this is going to be saved to the blockchain. There we go, we can now see my newly added image. I'm going to use the exact same image for my background, it's just going to zoom it in and be like a close up of a section of it, but if you guys wanted you could use a separate image that is specifically designed to be a background, more of a rectangular shape. Okay, we now have our profile image and our background banner set up. The next thing we want to do is name our profile. So to do that, we're going to click on settings. And from here, we have general settings. We can do username, bio. You don't have to link your email address if you want to remain anonymous. However, if you'd like to receive emails when people give you offers on your NFTs in your wallet or be updated on auctions and things like that that you're participating in, you are going to want to use an email address. Okay, I'm going with username paintman. Once you have your bio, username, and email address set up, just go ahead and click save. And we're then going to have to verify in that email address that we did make these changes and we want to be associated with this account. Just open up your email and navigate to that email and click on the link. That's it. Your email has been verified. Back to OpenSea. The next thing you may want to do after you have all this information saved is come, come down to notification settings. From here, you're going to be able to check which type of events that you get notifications in your email for. So if you don't want to get spammed on every single thing, you can kind of customize that here. Uh, but there are a lot of options. I'm just going to keep it default and leave that as is. You can also change the minimum bid threshold on your account. Lastly, we want to come over to appearance. You can choose day or night mode. So I usually like to just go into night mode here. And you can also choose your language if you'd like something other than English as your default. For now though, just to make it nice and easy and more similar to what you're used to seeing on your screen, I'm going to switch it back into day mode. Now when we come back to the main page of OpenSea, we can see our user profile here. And when we go to My Profile, it now has all of our images. It has our username as we created it, as well as our bio. 
You can still see and access your Ethereum address here. So if people need it, they can still access it there. But for the most part, from now on, on OpenSea, you're going to be listed as your username. That's everything you need to get started. In fact, you don't even need to do this to get started, guys. You can remain anonymous to use OpenSea, but if you want to be a regular user, that's all you really need. It's super simple. Add a username, add a bio, hook up your email address, profile picture, avatar, and a back banner. And we're good to go. You're now an official member of OpenSea. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick how-to video. There's lots more to come in this series, so make sure you guys follow along and click next in your playlist. If you did enjoy it, smash that thumbs up, share it on social media. Thanks again for watching, and let's get those NFTs.